Online bushing monitoring is a crucial process for extending the life of power transformers. It provides bushing data during all weather conditions, loads, and at rated voltage, with the same sensitivity as an offline measurement one. Let's discuss why is it important. On average, one out of four transformer failures is due to issues with the bushings. 50% of bushing failures end in fires. Many failure mechanisms on bushings occur in a very short period of time measured in days to weeks. Some failures are temperature and voltage dependent that are difficult to simulate during offline tests. How does it work? Online monitoring detects incipient faults that are not detected by offline tests. A fault's development time is typically less than the time between offline test cycles. Online systems measure the performance of the bushing at full operating voltage and temperature. Let's discuss types of bushings. OIP bushings. The integrity of the OIP, oil impregnated paper bushings is heavily dependent on the health of the gasket system, which is susceptible to damage from high temperatures. RIP and RIS bushings. RIP resin impregnated paper and RIS resin impregnated synthetic bushing constructions are more resistant to water ingress and explosive failure modes. Limitations of offline bushing testing. Offline testing is performed near ambient temperature with a test voltage of 10 kV. Offline tests may not match online monitoring data due to several reasons. There are various solutions available for online bushing monitoring such as Dynamic Ratings Bushing Monitor, Energy's Expert Bushing Monitoring, and Eaton's Bushing Guard. How often should we perform online monitoring? Online bushing monitoring is typically a continuous process. The system monitors the condition of the bushings continuously, providing reliable and unambiguous condition assessment. This allows for early detection of faults in bushings in action can be taken before the transformer is damaged. However, the frequency of offline tests, which are performed in addition to online monitoring, may vary. These tests are often performed on a routine schedule, perhaps once every few years. It's worth noting that the maintenance cycles of large power transformers have been extending from 1 to 2 years to 7 years and, in some instances, to 12 years. Ultimately, the frequency of monitoring will depend on the specific requirements of your transformer system, the type of bushings used, and the environmental conditions. It's always best to consult with a professional or the manufacturer's guidelines for specific recommendations. We will explain how RIP and RIS bushings work. Resin impregnated paper RIP and resin impregnated synthetic RIS bushings are types of transformer bushings that use a special manufacturing process to improve their performance and reliability. During the manufacture of RIP bushings, the insulating paper is first coated with a phenolic or epoxy resin and then wound into a cylindrical form while inserting conducting layers at suitable intervals. This process occurs while the parts are subjected to heat and pressure. With RIS bushings, a synthetic polymer fiber replaces the dense paper utilized in OIP and RIP technologies. This open mesh fabric can be impregnated by alumina or silica powder filled epoxy resin whose viscosity is much higher than that of traditional impregnation liquids such as oil and pure resin. Powder filled resins are a proven insulating material with decades of experience across several MV and HV applications and this ensures good electrical and mechanical performance when applied to bushings. By using these resins, the condenser core can be molded directly into its final shape and hardened in a short time. In addition, core drying prior to impregnation is no longer necessary since, unlike paper, polymer fibers absorb virtually no humidity. The silicone elastomer that forms the external part of the insulator can also be directly molded onto the air side of the condenser body. Advantages of RIS and RIP the combination of advanced material selection and improved processing capabilities allows RIS bushings uncommonly short production lead times versus other styles of HB bushings. These bushings are characterized by a very low dielectric loss factor tan delta, typically below 0.35%, 
while their electrical design and void-free impregnation process allows partial discharge PD-free operation up to twice the maximum phase-to-ground operating voltage. Such performance, equivalent to state-of-the-art RIP bushings, is significantly better than the minimum specified by the IEC standard. It's important to note that while RIP bushings have been largely replaced by RIS bushings due to their superior performance and reliability, both types of bushings are still in use today. How can we prevent bushing failures? Preventing bushing failures involves a combination of proper selection, installation, and maintenance of the bushings. Here are some steps to take. 1. Selecting the right bushings. Choose the right size and load capacity based on your machinery. 2. Proper installation. Install each bushing according to the manufacturer's instructions. Use the proper tools during installation and assess the system's alignment before returning to operations. 3. Lubrication. Every bushing should receive the right lubricant type and amount based on the manufacturer's instructions. This is critical for ensuring the bushing reaches its full service life with minimal risk of unscheduled downtime or parts fatigue. 4. Regular inspections. Regularly inspect your bushings for common causes of failure and implement good maintenance practices. 5. Maintenance schedule. Implement a maintenance and lubrication schedule so there's minimal risk of unexpected lubricant degradation. 6. Online monitoring. Use online monitoring tools to measure and record the bushing leakage current, including magnitude, harmonic content, and relative phase of the leakage currents in a set of three bushings, which provides information about the state of the bushing insulation. I will explain how Dynamic Ratings Bushing Monitor works. Dynamic Ratings DTM Bushing Health Monitor is a system designed to detect problems and prevent failure of transformer bushings, windings, and the bus connected to the transformer. Here's how it works. Bushing Health Monitor Module The BHM provides continuous online monitoring of bushings, offering real-time information on bushing capacitance and power factor, which can result in the early detection of a possible failure. Data Collection the bushing module collects top oil temperature, load current, and humidity inputs to provide a correlation with the bushing condition. This allows the system to reveal whether there is a specific inception point where the equipment deterioration accelerates. Partial Discharge Monitor Module This module measures electrical partial discharges PD in the transformer, bushing, and when applicable, the connected ISO phase bus. Electrical PD monitoring is a perfect second-level diagnostic tool to complement DGA and bushing monitoring systems. Advanced Analytics The key analytic for bushing monitoring is the magnitude and trend of the current imbalance. A DTM can provide system alarms on both of these quantities. Secondary analytics include behavior of the current imbalance with top oil temperature and the vector of the current imbalance.